Hey, what's going on, family? This is Brother Andrew back again with another video. And today we're performing a chest and a tricep workout routine. I've done this uh, about a month back with one of my old clients, and you know, I did the workout with him. And so, check it out. You can try this on your own. Some of these workouts are pretty cool. First exercise is a traditional flat bench press on the Smith machine. Um, nothing too crazy, but this is a great overall chest exercise. Really targets the entire chest, and it's a staple in most chest routines. The next exercise that we performed was an uh, inclined chest press on the Smith machine. And this exercise right here um, is great to target your upper chest. So we didn't go too heavy on these workouts. We was um, really focusing on form and we got a lot of reps in. So we perform each exercise about five sets and, and around the 10 to 15 rep range. Sometimes we went to 20. I really do a lot of my lifts based on feel and I don't stick to specific numbers all the time because if I feel like I can, I can get a couple more to get a good workout, I do a couple more. And uh, that's, that's how I roll. I go on feel and I focus on form a lot. But the next exercise we perform is a decline chest press on the Smith machine. And this right here targets the lower portion of the chest. And with these three exercises that we just performed, you'll really get a, a overall good chest workout. But I always like to cap it off with uh, cable flies. And this right here is a low uh, cable fly, chest fly. And this right here targets the lower portion of your chest as well, but it also hits that center line, that middle portion of your chest to get you that deep cut. And uh, yeah, I think this right here wraps up uh, the chest portion of the exercise. And we went right into head and triceps. And we stuck with the same kind of thing with triceps. We was doing pretty high rep ranges, medium to high rep ranges. And we perform like four to five sets each exercise. Uh, we got a really good pump this day. And uh, the first exercise we're doing is reverse pull now uh, on the cable. And um, you want to focus on extending down and then lowering it at a slower speed, bringing it back up. You don't want to let the weight control you. You want to control the weight. And that's the thing we're going to use throughout these uh, tricep exercises. We want to control the eccentric movements. We don't want to let the weight just jerk us back up. We want to allow the weight to come up and be in control of the weight at all times. And if you really can't be in control of it, you might want to think about going down. Uh, and I like to use a count of a one, two count. So on the way, push down one, and then take two seconds to bring it back up. That way I can focus on maintaining control of the weight. So one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. So simple counts like that kind of keep you in check, keep your form straight. This next exercise is a straight push now. I'm using a, a angle bar. And I like to use the angle bar because it's a little easier on the wrist, especially when you're going heavy in weight. And it really, um, yeah, it's a comfort thing for me and uh, as opposed to using the flat bar. But this right here wraps up the exercise, the workouts we did for chest and triceps. And I just think I just wanted to let you guys see what we be doing. We be getting in, peace.